I want you to listen to this light. So I believe you can hear the hum. When you're in a quiet room and you turn these lights on, there's two of them in here, one here and one down there. That's all you hear is this hum. Turn it off, it's gone. And you come down here. I've changed this one already. No noise, nothing, just light. Instant on, light. Welcome back to my channel, Frugal John. Today we're gonna to be taking out the ballast and installing LED lights. I have LED lights in it now, but it still has a ballast. Yeah, these are 24 watts and the ones I took, this is 24, these are 18, I believe. So I'm taking the ballast out, so I'm overall saving. Okay, so we're gonna get into replacing this. So I'm gonna leave it on, I'm gonna go upstairs, shut the breaker off, and then come down and change it. Okay, right, I always shut the breaker off, and it's best to get a qualified electrician to do this. Working with uh, electricity is dangerous. Okay, these just open up here, and they come down. So you take the bulbs out. Normally, you wouldn't have an LED. These are LEDs, but they're LEDs that require the ballast. I can say I'm switching to an LED that doesn't require the ballast. Okay, then I gotta take this off here. You just grab, I'll bring you a little closer. You just squeeze it together. Where, where, on this particular model, they're all different. You squeeze it together where the, the clips are. Then you pull it down, that's where your ballast is right here. This is what's coming out. That's just getting wired in together. Okay. So the reason why I'm cutting this as long as I can is because I got to bring this wire. I'm going to use a colored side over to the, uh, the load side over here, the black one. So I'll cut this one as long as I can. And to verify, you can also take a meter, go over and select. which is a non-contact to see if you have any power. And I'm not showing any power at all. And verify I'm hooked up correctly. When you do have power, it just lets you know by beeping. So, and you go back up here. I've got nothing anywhere in this light. So just, I double check, we're good. No power up there. Okay, so we'll cut this as long as we can. I suppose I could leave some wires in case you want to use it again, but I need this extra length and I'm not using it again. Yeah, because there's only two lights. One ballast for two lights. The one upstairs had two ballasts because there was four lights in it. And this one here, we'll cut that. And we'll just cut these yellow, actually. It doesn't really matter. I can leave these long. That's going to be hooked up to the... I'm hooking this up to the uh, white side. The neutral. And we'll take that down. And I'll just put the screw there in case you want to put another bellows back in one day, which I doubt. Come over here, take your marits off. And cut those off and just straighten them out because they were twisted quite a bit, over twisted. And the ground will stay hooked up. I'm gonna leave this long in case it has to be switched back. And I'll just tuck them in there. So I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm just gonna join all these together. You don't have to cut them this long by doing it because I'm gonna twist them all together. It makes it easier and then cut the excess off. You can line them all up, make sure they're all even here and just twist them all together. Okay, and I can't cut these and redo them because they've got quite a twist in them.
And like I always do, before I hook up any load, it's just a common thing I do. I always hook up the neutral first. So power always has, first it'd be ground. Ground on this one's already hooked up. Then I'll do the neutral. Then I'll do the, uh, the load line. That's why they're so twisted. I had to cut them off because I twist them pretty hard. And this is not going to fit, as you can see. It's got to go to here. So what I'm going to do there is just, that's why this is out. I'm just going to extend that wire. I just took a normal piece of uh, 14 two. And I'm going to bring that about there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shoot. Uh-oh. I, I thought I measured that, okay. Okay, measure once, cut twice. <laughs> First one, it was a little too short. Anyway, I cut a longer one. Okay, so I can cut this one back to about here. And this one will be a little longer because I got to put a bigger morette on there. Okay, because of all the extra wires that are here and there, I'm just going to use a yellow morette. And we'll get all these up there. I'll get the camera over here out of my way. Okay, so these I'm just gonna tuck up here, out of the way. These are all good. Okay, that all looks good. I'm gonna put the cover on it. Make sure I'm not pinching any wires. Get in there. There we go. Good there, good there. No pinching of wires. Okay, let's get the bulbs in there. Okay, these have a plastic cover. Let's take them off. Sometimes they come off in the package. And they got little ends covering. But I turn around, I take these, I put them on the bulbs I took out because they are LEDs. May I put them in a garage sale or find some cheap lights for the garage and put them in there. Okay, so these will go this way. That's it. Get another one. Okay, let me go turn the breaker on. Okay, let's see if it works. Perfect. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is going to put a sticker that says this on it. It comes in, in the package. It just tells you that this light has been modified and you can no longer use the regular bulbs. So, remind yourself or anybody else in the future. And we'll get this back up. The fridge is on behind you, but as you can hear, there's no more hum. So when you come down here and you want to relax, turn the light on, you don't get that annoying. I, to me, it was extremely annoying hum that's always going on when there's two of them is really bad. Anyway, done. It's that simple. I'll put links in the description for the lights. Anything else I use, the meter, uh, tool, general tools. Anyway, if you liked the video, appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.